Hi everyone, welcome to Big Oggy Golf. The lady who you just saw the uh, back of, I won't say anything else, just the back of, uh, she just taken our photograph. She works for the uh, social media section here and uh, it must be a quiet day because they've taken our photograph to go on their social media. Yes. Hmm. We, are, <laughs> we are at Perrinporth. We are at Perrinporth Golf Club. Perrinporth is a fantastic Lynx course and I've not had a chance to play it before but Neil has. Yes, Hence right. one reason why Neil is coming on the channel more often because you know a lot of the courses in Cornwall. I know a few around there, yeah. Yep. Uh, it's situated just down the road from Newquay if you don't know where uh, Perrinporth is and uh, I highly recommend it. It's got a number of quirky little blind shots There's I think we've got to deal with. some quirky blind shots out there, some quirky holes, but no, really good course. But we're going to do our best. Uh, I've already done a little bit of b-roll footage which hopefully you've already seen and uh, let's just get on the course because it's the seniors out in front of us. I think it's senior ladies comp today. It's fairly quiet behind us. We're going to try and film the front nine as a little match play comp. You are how handicap? 15. 15. I'm 30 so basically I get an extra shot on every hole. Not sure what we're going to score. I've never played here. I've been told you can score absolutely anything here. It's just going to be fun, yeah? It is, yeah. It is. So we're going to try and play the uh, front nine. Um, we'll split it into three videos, three holes per video. Makes sense for you lot. And uh, if we've got time and the wind doesn't pick up too much and we can film more than that, we will do so. I'll let you carry on, mate, because right. you are the first person out there to play. Did I'm I? the first one to Yeah, yeah, of course right. you are, yeah, because yeah. i got a camera. <laughs> okay, what Neil is setting up, uh, first hole we've been told is relatively straight, and it is, um, which is good news. After that, the course gets rather tricky. Yeah, it gets a, a few hills out there. On the there's there's certainly a few hills out there. I've seen people walking, walking up and down them at the yeah. moment. Uh, 370 odd yards, I think, from where we are. 379. Yep, and we're playing off the yellows today because, strictly speaking, I wouldn't be good enough to play all the whites here. Right. Have fun, Neil. Let's play well, mate. John. That could be oops, Neil. That's, left. That's, that's a bit left, Neil. Bit left. I'm saying nothing. We're playing match play. I said I get an extra shot and maybe I won't need it on this I hole. I don't think you're going to need it. We'll see, we'll see. Went a little bit left. Okay, as you can see, Neil is looking for a ball. Uh, it's a bit of a nervous first shot and it is quite windy here and he's hooked it badly to the left. Uh, he might get away with it because uh, if he can find it, he's on a little fairway which is due with a practice area. But if not, I might have this hole rather quickly, but uh, we shall find out. I'm about 160 yards from the flag and we'll show you that in a minute. I hit the fairway but it's rolled off as it will in links at the moment because every ground is absolutely bone dry. Okay, so Neil's put a ball down, so he's just using up a few shots already. It's about 149, 150 from the flag. I'll turn this around when he hits the ball. That's one of those uh, Lynx Golf cutters, mate. Under the wind. Under the wind, yeah. You are, um, you are struggling this hole, aren't you? I'll warm up. You will warm up, absolutely you will. Don't worry about it, it's just a camera, mate. It's fine. So Neil's just gonna check on his GPS. I reckon he's about 100, about 100 yards, probably. 107. 107. Yeah. And a big elevated green from here. Much better. See, that's the Neil I know and love. Nice to show the green. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Let's go find mine. Right. Well, I mean, I'm out of breath already, mate. I should be running down up and down this hill looking for your ball. I know. Oh. Right. <laughs> Not the best start I wanted, but. That's okay. So John's hit the fairway. He's just rolled well, off into well, the semi, off the semi fairway, rough. So 140 odd. I go with a six. Yeah, should have a good line in. Down, it probably still is. Still is rolling down. Yeah, you have a good line in from there. 
Yeah, I can play safe, I've got shots to play with now. All right, all right. <laughs> all right, so John's got a nice little position here to play into the green. About 50 yards and I'm just going to take a little seven iron to gently punch it down, I think. Everything's going to be very gentle here. I think so, yeah. Everything's going super quick, isn't it? Telling you, I was just telling Neil. Sorry, I was um, in the changing rooms and I asked one of the gentlemen who were getting changed about advice, and he said, "Hit them all short because everything's rolling, rolling, rolling." Yeah, well, you've... Not quite, but we'll get so there. That, that's rolled since we, you've been talking there. Is it still going? It's still going. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Uh. Now, obviously, we've not really played this course before. I certainly haven't. Neil's only played it once or twice when he was younger, uh, so we didn't realise there was going to be bunkers. At this part of the course, but it's a lovely view. Not when you're looking up at that slope. Not when you're looking from that slope. That's quite a steep slope. This is proper links golf with proper steps into a bunker. Good luck, mate. Well out and in. well in. Oh, but that is the nature of links, isn't it? If they're just super tough bunkers, you got out of it, no problem. Dry ground, back it comes. Much better. Oh, look at that! I know I basically won the hole, but that that was worth it. That's like super soft sand as well. It's like, oh, it's, it's lovely. It's like a beach. You, you, can you got all the time in the world, John. Thank you, I'll take the time. Big slope. Down the slope. And that's rolling down nicely. Yeah, that's, that's, that's nicely done. I don't think there. we'll bother tapping, do you? We'll no, we'll just, we'll just call you. That's one up to you. One up to me. Thank you. 501, John. 501. 501. I'm not playing darts, mate. 180. No. Right. Uh, it's up there. It's a par five. It's all the way up there. Dog leg it's, to the right, I think. It's up it? there towards the marker. Yeah, I'm, I'm pointing to thinking that's where it is, but you know on the camera where you are. Uh, there's a marker post up there on the right, and I think the next shot is blind. It's blind around well. the corner. Let's just try and get up there. I think that's it. I think that's the main thing. Everything goes right to left here. Yeah, for all those people who don't play Lynx golf, everything sweeps to the sea. That's it. And the sea is just over there. I'm just going to just go across there while Neil sets up his ball. That is Perrinporf and Perrinporf Beach. I'm sure they're enjoying themselves probably more than Neil did on the first hole. Trying to, trying to forget about that one. Sorry, sorry, I won't say it anymore. Everything will sweep that way. Well, I think we'll find that one now. It'll be fine. Well done, mate. 
Uh, it is quite blowy here. You will notice that I'm putting these shorts up from time to time because I have numerous amount of golf balls in these pockets because I was told to bring a lot. Um, and they weigh you down a bit. Right, I've been told, uh, go for that marker on the right hand side of that marker. I go with a five iron. It's a long, we're still a long way away. Yeah, we're not hitting the green from here. No, no. That's a lovely shot, John. Might be a bit on the right, but this is the problem. So I haven't played pair and pork before on camera because there's a lot of hidden shots, but we're gonna do our best for you, okay? Let's find yours, mate. Now, if you've watched the first hole, which I'm sure you will, this may be a similar scene. Neil hit a pretty good drive, actually, but it just swung a little bit right to left off the fairway. Dodgy bank, typical of links, and uh, we haven't found it yet. We're and this is nasty stuff. Fairway. It's actually not that far off the fairway. You're about what, 10, 12 feet off the fairway. Right, and this yeah. is brambles. I don't know what to say, Neil. I don't know what to say, mate. I don't know. Mulligan is the worst. You could do a, you could do a Patrick Reed if you want and get all read snotty and throw a few things if you want. Yeah, 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 yeah. We discussed Patrick Reed because on his uh, what's in the bag. One of the uh, comments was, oh, you've got Patrick Reed on your channel. So if this title of this video is, I'm playing Patrick Reed at Perrinport, now you know why. So, Neil's got 231 from here. That's the, the first marker on the right is the one we were aiming for originally. There's a marker on the left, which is where you go towards the green. Uh, I've let him find, uh, well, we didn't find his ball, so we've uh, put another one down for him. So it's another shot gone. Sorry, Neil. But we're still playing for fun. I'm not going to go for the green. I wouldn't, no. Uh, just play it roughly down the fairway. I think that'd be pretty much perfect. It should be alright. But the worrying thing is, we thought your last shot was pretty good. Yeah. And it was. Now, Fair. my friend Chris from Chris on the Tee, who's played this before and lives in Florida, you'll, he was mentioned in the last video, actually just tweeted to us and said, watch out for the second. Yep. Blind, he's put on it, a hashtag. Yes, yes. now we know, watch out for the second. Thanks, Chris, bit late. <laughs> okay, right, Neil is just, as he just walks up that slope to see where he hopes I'm going to be hitting the ball. Uh, so we can kind of work out the line. Um, hopefully you've got the marker post on this picture now. I'm about 100, 280 odd yards or so. It's somewhere over there. We'll try the third shot. I'm going to go five again. Okay. Yeah. I don't think you can go wrong with just going over the top of the mound. Okay. Right right at the marker, right at the path. Right at the marker, right at the path. Yeah. Well, I'll do my best then. My alignment's never the most best thing I've got. Don't think you'll be far wrong with that. Should be alright. Should be okay. Should be fair way again. Uh, hopefully. We never know. I don't know what the fairways are like. I've never found one yet. No. Okay, so while Neil sorts his next shot out, there's some lovely birds swittering in the background here. Beautiful wildlife here. That's the uh, marker post that we've just hit over, and uh, the two marker posts that we kind of hit over. I'm just going to bring this round. There is Perrin Pork Town again, and here is the green. Beautiful and green little oasis. Just wish we'd known it was there before. I've actually been told to come and play this course a couple of times and then you end up with a better shot ratio for about no an extra six shots. Because yeah. you kind of know things. So. That's it. I'm a little bit confused though, John. This is fairway. Yeah, you're on fairway. I haven't been on a fairway yet. No, but you are now. Make the most yeah, of it. I, am, I will. So 90 in. 90 in, yeah. Very good. He always hits a lovely high ball. You know, I can't feel that much. Just kicked over the back. I saw it banked once. Yeah, I, I didn't see it again. Can't see anything else. We shall have a look. I'm um, a bit further down. I think I probably landed in a similar spot to where Neil is now, and it just rolled further, which is typical Lynx golf on a dry course. That's it. That's right. So John's come over the mound we were just talking about. Now here, nicely, a little approach into the green. 
57 to the middle, so probably about 65. You are, you are on the green. I'm on the green. You're on the green. I've oh, just excellent. got around the corner, I can see it. You're on the green. Okay. So you've got about 65. Feels on the green. Right. Fairly close to the flag, Neil's on the green, a little bit of work to do. I still feel like I've got a good advantage on this hole. You never know. Okay, so I'm there, we believe for four. We do lose count when you're filming, but I'm sure I'm there it with an advantage. Neil's there for five because of his unfortunate losing the ball. Yeah. I can see two up for you coming. I can see two up as well. Move to one side. Not as fast as we thought, is it? Not quite. Okay, I shall tap close and we'll move to the next hole, I reckon. A bit blowy. Bit of a breeze. Yeah. Come on, John, you got this here five. I take that, I would take that every day of the week. I'll give you that. Thank you. Bogey golf, that's why I gotta try and play for a while. Get the handicap down. Okay, that's a two. Neil. Thanks, Neil. <laughs> so here on the third hole, par four. Green is up at the top of the hill here. We've got to go down well, into a little valley. We can see the green. But you're hitting down into a little valley about 200 yards is your sort of shot you want to be hitting and then you're playing up to an elevated green okay. we'll have a go I'm going to take driver because I don't hit a long driver anyway and I need to practice Still should have a shot. Yeah. Oh well. Now while Neil sorts his stuff out, uh, mine went a bit left to right there, no, quite, quite a long way left to right. I'm still working on this driver swing, I just panicked a little bit then. But Neil thinks I'm probably on the fairway on the other hole. So that's fine. This is Lynx Golf, there's no trees. Should be alright. It's just finding different lines in. Sometimes you play a completely different course to other people. Neil's kind of bit out there as well. I just think the wind, just, we thought they were going to bring them around a bit and then just keep yeah. them out there. It's not the wind, it does open out a little bit though. Okay. A little bit of knowledge there from somebody who played the course before. <laughs> we'll see where we ended up. There we go. Yeah. So yeah, I, I think we're going to go, we're just going to keep going. Just so going to keep going up. Yeah, I hope we land in a safe fish spot, I think. Because it's got this far away, you still got to get across at some point. That's it, yeah, you still got to get up there. Right. I've got a good line in from here, that's alright. Yeah, you should be right. I'll, I'll leave the same club probably, is it? <laughs> okay, we've looked at the distances and I'm saying 150 odd, but it looks a long way for 150, it's up an elevated green. Yeah. Well, the GPS just does a level. Yeah, GPS does a level, and that's certainly not level. Well, if I play it just to the right, it's open.
Is it a good one? You don't have to tell me where it's gone. I'll just wait to see if you jump up and down or shake your head. I didn't see it come down. We'll find out. We'll find out in a minute. Uh, I'm just a little uh, cold, maybe 10, 20 yards further on by that little uh, post up there. Same shots really at the moment as I've got the extra shot. That's it. Alright, so John's stance after. Yeah, John's got a linked stance here. There's, there's no such thing as a flat stance, is there, anywhere on this course? Right, so John on his this is my fourth. fourth shot. Yeah, I'm kind of making a bit of a pig's ear of it, but it's lovely view down there, though, the beach. At that point, you were supposed to go that way, and I just kicked the ball about another 30 yards. Oh, oh, sorry, yeah. yeah. Right. I'm going to go nine iron. It's... That still feels a long way, isn't it? That's, that's not bad. That's kick left. It's so, I think it's on the green. That could be back of the green. We'll hope. Okay, Neil's just going to mark his ball because he's on the path so we can get a bit of relief and put it somewhere else. This is the green. Just going to scoot round. I'm on the back kind of edge of it. It's got a, it's a two tier green so it's got a slope down to the flag. I think I'm going to stay up here and watch your shot from up here. I'll walk backwards and open it fall off the cliff. <laughs> Please don't, It'll make great viewing. Right. It could be lovely, delicate little bounce on. If it hits the top of that ridge. It on the roll. Uh, it stayed on the top. Stay stayed on the top. top. Unlucky, mate. That's a really good shot, actually. So, in the interest of ready golf, I'm here. This will be my fifth. Neil's going to play his uh, fourth. fourth, so this is to see if I've still got an opportunity to hit a ball or not. Nice and steady down there. That's pretty good. I'll make you tap it in now. <laughs> yeah, go on, pick it up. Pick it up. <laughs> uh, right. So I've got to go for a miracle shot. You've got to go for a miracle now. Well, I couldn't let you get to three, get to three up. One for the win, two for the draw. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've just seen what happens on this hole. Bit of meat left on that one. Okay. Wow. <laughs> you got oh. the half. That's for a half, I think. So, at the end of part one, I am still two up. We played three holes. We're off to the fourth. See you in part two. Say goodbye, Neil. Goodbye.